Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling a traditional styled Chinese roof in Revit. So basically these Chinese roofs, I find them very attractive and they kind of look like traditional roofs but they're a bit warped. So this will be basically a hipped roof that's a bit warped to look like the traditional Chinese roof. And if you want any other tutorials on roofs, I've put a couple of links in the description below. And also I suggest you subscribe for daily tutorials. And also I would ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using an architectural template for this. And here we are in level 1. So first let's set the units to meters. So I'm just going to go here to meters. Okay, okay. Once that's done, let's put some walls for our building. So I'm just going to be using a rectangle and let's create a simple building like so. And let's connect it to level 2. Okay. Okay, that's done. Now let's create some reference planes that are going to help us to create this roof. So I'm going to go here to reference plane. And I'm going to create one horizontal reference plane. And then I'm just going to go create similar to create a vertical reference plane like this. So the vertical one I'm going to name it number one because I'll be using it first and the horizontal one I'm going to be na naming number two. You need to name them so you can select them easier later. Okay, once that's completed I can go here in west elevation. Let's just select these walls. For some reason they didn't attach to level two so okay one, now that's done. Okay, now we can start modeling our roof. So I'm going to go here to Architecture tab, Roof, open up this drop menu and go to Roof by Extrusion. I'm going to pick this work plane by name and I'm going to choose work plane number one. Okay, and for the level let's leave it at level two. So now we need to model basically an extrusion line and for this I'll be using an arc tool so I'm going to create something like something like that. Okay, that looks warped. So let's mirror it around this center axis. Okay, and for the extrusion start and extrusion end, let's go minus 10 and plus 10 for the beginning and we'll see how that looks like. Okay, now I'm going to go to south elevation and you can see it's a bit too long, so let's bring it in a bit. Yeah, let's put it at 7 meters on both sides. Go apply. Okay, that looks about right. Now we need to select this and go vertical. So for this I'll go to level 2 or may maybe site plan. So now what we need to do is we need to cut out par parts of this roof that we don't need. Because this will be a hip roof, I need to cut up a part here and a part here. So I'm going to go basically to this line command and go and create a 45 degree line. Same thing over here, 45 degrees. Now go with the trim tool, connect this and close it up here. So basically whatever closed line you create that will be a void extrusion that will eliminate this part of the roof. So now I can just select this and mirror it around this horizontal axis. Oh, it doesn't allow me to mirror it for some reason. Okay, now I can mirror it. Okay, once that is completed, you just go here to finish edit mode. And now when we go into 3D, it looks kind of like this. So it looks kind of funny, but when we add these parts, it will look normal. Okay, so once that's completed, you can go into South Elevation and now we can create these parts. So I'll be using again Roof by Extrusion and for the name I will go Reference Plane number 2, that's the horizontal one, okay. And place it at level 2, okay. So again, I'm going to be using this Arc tool and pick this line, pick this line and pick somewhere on this line like so. Okay, and now you can't really do both of these at the same time, it needs to be kind of connected. So we'll do just one and then we'll mirror it at the end. So finish this and let's go into a site plan. So this is way too much. 
so you bring it in here and bring it in here and there you go now if we go into 3d you can see we have this part of the roof we just need to trim it up a bit so I'm going to select this thing and go vertical again so I'm going to go back into the site plan so now let's create the part we want to cut out so I want to cut out basically this portion over here so these two elements I don't need so I'm just going to go here finish go into 3D and yeah that looks about right so while this is selected I can go back to site plan and I can mirror this roof around this axis so now if I go into 3D it looks like that now I can select all four walls go attach top base so now we need to attach it to each part of the roof individually this is a bit boring and takes too long but that's okay and there you go something that looks like a traditional Chinese roof modeled in Revit by roof by extrusion command Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions for further tutorials, please, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.